Hey folks, welcome back to Imposter Factory. Alright, so, in the last one, we, we learned a lot, again, and not only are Quincy and Linry together, you know, but also the party and the mansion, all of it was based on reality in some way. And that really scares me. I don't know if that's going to come back, but it seems like we're now tra transitioning to a new memory, and... Yeah, I'm just hoping that we'll pick up more clues, I guess. Maybe, maybe some answers, too. Whew, that's the last box. I told you we'd get everything by here by tonight. Hey, what is it? Are you sure about this? Moving all the way here with me because of my job. Oh, so she did take it. You had arrangements back home too, didn't you? Well, yeah, but nothing like this. I mean, the Yu Haynes Foundation. Whatever you do there, I'm sure it'll be cutting edge. <laughs> Still. Hey, it's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here too. Thanks, Quince. I'm glad you're here. Of course. I promised I would. Anyhow, let's just settle down and let you get some rest. Can't have you sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow. Wow. He really had a whole life with her. And he still has no idea. This reminds me. At the mansion today, they literally had a golden toilet. Oh. Literally? Literally. Wow. <laughs> Do they really need to sit on gold to take a dump? Huh. So all that was based on reality too, huh? The legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room. Or a pinball room. With bookcases over there. Or a mini golf room. And finally get a desktop computer over here. Or a throne room. <laughs> I guess they balance each other out. That's a good thing. Hmm. The good old mattress again. Why does it feel like going from one dorm to another? Hmm. It's kind of cozy if you ask me. Makes me think of camping. You've never really gone camping before, have you? Not exactly. <laughs> it's morning already. Wow, the fact that there's already... There's, the fact that there's so much data to go, the fact that there's so much data to go still, like, that also makes me worry, because, I don't know, I mean, if we've already caught up to the age that Quincy seems to be here, and there's more, yeah, I guess I'm wondering, like, just how much more there is, or if maybe, 
Quincy is in fact a lot older than we think he is. Yeah, you know, if there's more of his life and her life left to to look at, you know. Hmm. Okay, how do I look? Hmm, she looks cute with a bun. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a person attached to your hair bun. And she looks kick-ass. I'll be back by supper. Go on. You're gonna do great. Oh. And that's it, huh? See, still, I'm just wondering why exactly this mansion is important. Did something bad happen here? Because we keep coming back to this. And it was important enough to be, you know, a part of her memories that she was coming back to. That's why we started here, right? Something significant happens here? <laughs> wow, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentient... It's just a sentient foxtail. Of course it's a real fox. Why won't it come out? It's a real shy fox. The others have already arrived. Rika waits for you inside. I'll go find her. Thanks. Hmm. Well, I guess it would make sense if she... If she reports to work every day at this mansion, then I guess she did spend a lot of time here. Wasn't just that one party, huh? Hmm. Okay, what now? <laughs> I don't like how this music is ramping up. Where is everybody? Emil said they'd arrived already. They've already gone to the lab. Oh, no, I mean... Oh, no. Am I late for the commute? Not quite. Aha. Wow. Come aboard. Going down. Oh my god. This really is like a whole operation. Is this why there's an NDA? Like something... of a very large scale was happening here, maybe in secret? <laughs> and Jesus, what is this music? Welcome to the Yu Haynes Foundation. This is just one of the several branches of our core development centers. As you might guess, it's also one of the most discreet. Wow, this whole place. I knew there was something off about this place. And this robot. Oh, is that not a rice bot? I knew it. It was never just a rice cooker, was it? Oh, <laughs> the rice cooker's on the loose again. Hey, get back here! If the chef slip, if the chef slip it down the shaft again, I swear I'm gonna. It's a rice cooker. Okay. <laughs> Come, I'll give you a tour. Also, if she signed an NDA. I mean, I get that this version of Quincy doesn't know, sure, but do you think she ever told? Real Quincy? The hell all this was? Is she allowed to, even? The cafeteria and the recreational room. The chef sends meals down the shaft thrice a day. 
Just give them your order. I thought it was strange that there were three chefs here. Yeah. Now it's all making sense, but... Also, who the hell are these people? You know, do they work with Sigmund? Or... Maybe they're the competition? Something like that? Well... And then, the fact they managed to build all of this underground... Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I am wondering if Quincy ever knew. Can I read the paper? No? Guess not much to look at over here. Oh my god, is this them? Like, they're busts? Oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. I didn't even notice that at first. What's this? Of course. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you. I'll do my best. Dr. Haynes, are you still there? Excuse me. I'm here. Regarding the contract, it's not in our interest to fund the project without a say on the board. The board is not the only way to have a say, Mr. Armstrong. You should go meet Dr. Yu in the West Wing. She's in charge of your research team. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing that everyone from the party is invested in this industry for some reason or another, right? Like, maybe they are just investing, or maybe they actually secretly work on these kinds of projects. Fascinating. No, the project you will be working on is only one of several that we're pursuing here. But, psst, it's my favorite. Ricebot. Except for you, Ricebot. Shall we show them the rehearsal station? Sure. The facility's in maintenance, but Dr. Clegg is there as we speak. Also, take Ricebot back upstairs, will you? Of course. Damn, no one wants you around, Ricebot. <laughs> wow, what a facility. Anything else to look at over here? Conversations to be had, no? Huh. There you go. Dr. Louis Clegg should be there. He arrived at residence here a few days er earlier. I believe you've already met at the party. I remember. Let's go, Ricebot. <laughs> I mean, this is exciting and everything, but I am worried, though, right? About something bad happening. Oh, damn it, did I miss one? I guess I did. I must have missed a room back there. Oh, I didn't see this uh, pathway over here. Let's take a look. Oh, what is this now? Here's the residence for on-site collaborators. If things go well, we might invite you for a room here. Thanks, but I've already got a place elsewhere. See, again, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for something very bad or traumatic to happen. Like, part of me wonders if this is, like, maybe... Maybe the thing that broke her and Quincy up? You know, spending too much time on her work, maybe even living here and away from him, but... It's gotta be bigger than that, right? Hmm. Well, here goes.
So, fresh doctorate, huh? To be honest, I was surprised when I saw you at the party the other day. But to actually see you here... Doctor, you said my paper has been helpful to the project. I'll try my best to apply my findings. Your paper? I've read your paper. No offense, but there's nothing there that she didn't know already. What do you mean? What they had done here, I've deconstructed it. There's no way they made all this progress that I haven't already known about your findings. Doctor, you and her team must have already figured it out all those years ago. Years ago? But then, why were their findings not published? Are you serious? This isn't some purist academia spreading knowledge for the betterment of humanity. I'd say money, but the interest groups involved are a lot more complicated than that. Regardless, look. If you're looking to make a difference in the world, this is still the place. It may be a while before the public gets a taste, but here. Here is where it all starts. Yeah. So there is something off about all of this, even just her taking the job. Her being approached in the first place, something was off. It makes me feel like she she definitely was approached for other reasons. I'm getting nervous about this. Okay, well, where to go from here? I'm surprised a state-of-the-art quantum computer still looks like this. The vintage aesthetic is just an homage. It didn't even look like this when the with the glass back then. Okay. Oh, well, there's my next portal. Oh, that was weird. Okay. For some reason, it wouldn't let me go in for a little while. Okay, we're fine. Again, scared for what's next, though. Yeah. Figured that would happen. A lot of her working, being apart from him, maybe. Thank you again for having me here. I'm learning so much already. Fitting in well, I take it? We'll introduce you to the main project on Monday. Do keep the confidentiality in mind. I'll be ready. Right. And yet, at confidentiality, I'm wondering again if, if the real Quincy ever knew what she was really doing. I'm home. Hey, how's work? Not bad for a first week. I think I'm getting a hang of it. What you making there? Oh, just you wait. For the most amazing carrot cake you'll ever eat. Well, I'm pretty sure I found the issue. Mind staying here a bit longer to run some tests? Sure, I'm here to help. Mm, I see. Yeah. Hey, sorry I'm back late. Everything okay? Yeah, there are always issues to fix, but we'll get through it. Of course, they they got you. Of course, they got you. 
I'll go heat up dinner. Right. I mean, I was saying that it was a pretty simple thing, but maybe it's... Maybe it really is that simple. You know, just her... Her keeping herself at work and away from him. The interface module is still behind schedule, although we are making progress. But the investors are expecting a demo. Are you sure it'll be ready by the next visit? Yeah, we'll make it. By the way, have you thought more about the re about the residence offer, Linry? We even have a vacant room ready for you. Everything would be surely everything would surely be easier that way. Ah, and that's what I was worried about too, right? They already don't see each other a lot because of work, and now she's not even going to live there. <sighs> oh. Sorry I'm so late again, I had to- That's exactly what I was afraid would happen. Well, regulations be damned. But progress is progress. Still. You sure you want to demo this thing next week? Yes. It's an honor, really. It's come a long way. I'm glad I could be a part of this. I forgot it was today. Oh no. Is that their anniversary? Is that the Eiffel Tower? Time to see what's next. Although I don't think I'm gonna like it. Living at the campus on your own? But we've got this place. I haven't agreed to it yet. But you're seriously thinking about it? I mean, it'd only be for a while. That's what you said about working late. Now it's every night. I, I know, it's just... We're doing something amazing, Quince. And we're so close. This could change the world. This is what I've always wanted to do. Look, I know I haven't been around for us as much as I should. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I thought we both knew what I had to do from the start. Didn't you? You said you understood and that you'd give me a reason to keep going. That you'd bring me the world to see so I can stay and do this. I know it sounds selfish, but I never asked for it. I never would have said yes if I knew I wasn't what you really wanted. Of course I wanted to. I wouldn't still be here if it weren't. I mean, 
what I said, and I've been trying so hard to do just that. It's just... I just thought we'd still be able to have more than just this. I know I said that I'd bring you the world, but... I guess at some point I still wanted to see the world with you, too. And now it all just feels farther and farther away. This isn't really fair to you, though, is it? I guess I don't know what I was really expecting. I'm sorry. I, I really can't stay and talk more about this right now. I'm already so late and we're supposed to be presenting our progress to the investors today. We'll talk about this later, okay? Yeah. Oh no, what the hell is this? Uh... Oh my god. No, someone did die. Hey! What's happened here? The premise is closed. Are you affiliated? I work here. Linry! Al! What is going on? Was that... Louis? It didn't work. The investors were already here, and we're waiting and... So, Louis... He did the demo in your place, but they wanted a live test. He did the demo in my place? Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu are still inside, talking with the others. They said... Lunary, wait! Oh my god. I mean, I don't know. I'm not in- I'm not a scientist. Maybe I don't understand, but like... I don't know if I could do a kind of work like this. I mean, just- just get the hell out now while you still can. But I get that this is... what she thinks is her permission on Earth or something, right? But what good is a memory interfacing machine that kills the user? We don't know that for sure. It's just one failed attempt. Well, good luck with more attempts under all the regulations this is going to trigger. We are under the radar. We can get around those. No. You were under the radar. Yeah, and now you're like totally over it. Either way, there's a fundamental incompatibility with writing the memories. That surely doesn't bode well for the core of the project. Oh, you bunch are so pessimistic. Haven't you heard of pivoting? Let's not lose our heads over a little setback. How is this a little setback? Yeah, what even- what's even the point of memory interfacing if they die in the process? Well... Lunry! Oh my god, the chaotic music is playing again. Yeah. Wait, Linry! Oh my god. Well, I did say something bad would happen. Something bad would happen at this job, at this mansion, and I was right. I mean... I know how I'd, how I'd uh, want things to patch themselves up, but something tells me that's not going to be that simple. And you know what? We already dropped a pretty damn big cliffhanger. So, I think I'm going to call it here just because I've been recording for long enough, and... 
and I'm going to let all this sink in, and we are going to figure out what the hell happens next very soon. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Again, I am getting more and more intrigued every episode, and I'm having a lot of fun. So, I hope you are all too. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.